Hey, Math 31, I had a question for section 3.5, number 69. And here we were given an equation and asked to graph it based on what our toolkit functions look like. And if you don't remember your toolkit functions, I'm just gonna write a little page for, or write a little note for you over here. Your toolkit functions, which are very important, they start on page 174. And one of the overarching ideas in 31 is that we want you to be able to look an equation, like maybe this equation, and have some idea of what it looks like without using your calculator, just based on what you know about functions. So let's stare this down and see if we can figure this out. So when I take a look at it, I'm going to change pen colors. One of the first transformations I notice is I have a multiplier of 4 out here. I also see that I have a plus 1. All right, so we've got a four outside the grouping symbols, a plus one inside the grouping symbols, and then I'll change to the blue. I also have a minus five outside of the grouping symbols. So taking a closer look at this, each of these transformations do affect my graph. This minus five outside the grouping symbols is gonna shift my graph down five units. This plus one inside the grouping symbols Again, this is the one that's a little counterintuitive. This is actually going to shift your graph left one unit. All right, and then this four on the outside, this is going to be a vertical stretch by a factor of four. Okay, now how does this relate to our toolkit function? I'm going to get there in just a moment, but I do want to say if you wanted to at this point, you could take that function, put it into the y equals part of your calculator or whatever technology you're using, and get the graph. All right, uh, there's a lot of graphing programs out there, but I'm going to try and do this by hand just to demonstrate a point. So when I look at this, this function, the parent function it's based off of, the toolkit function it's based off of, is y equals x squared. And I can see that because of the square there. Everything else is just window dressing. The 4, the 1, and the 5, they're just window dressing. They're shifts and stretches. It's based off of this parent function of y equaling x squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph y equals x squared, and I'm going to show you how we get from ordered pairs on this graph to ordered pairs on this graph. All right, so let's try this. Whenever I want to graph a function, and I don't know what it looks like, even though I really do know what y equals x squared looks like, but if I didn't, I always pick these five points. These are my starter points. Now, occasionally I'll shift to these, but usually I start from negative 2 to 2. All right, so if I plug in negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4, negative 1 squared is 1, 0, 1, 4. So let me go ahead and graph these. Oops, that's a little bit too long. Ooh, whoa, what'd I do there? All right, let me graph this. There we go. All right, so I had four order or five ordered pairs. Zero, zero, one, one, negative one, one. And then we had 2, 4, and negative 2, 4. Okay, so how do I get from, let me use my highlighter, from these ordered pairs to this graph? So let's talk about how things get shifted. So I'll start with this vertex here. Let's start with the origin, which happens to be the vertex now. I'm going to reference, oops, excuse me, I'm going to reference these shifts, and I do have to go in PEMDAS order. So I want you to think about how this works. The first thing I'm going to do is shift left one unit because that's inside the parentheses. The next thing I'm going to do is vertically stretch by a factor of four because this multiplication here will come before this subtraction according to PEMDAS. So I'm going to first do a shifting left by one, then a vertical stretch by four, and then the last thing I'm gonna do, if I can make this any darker, all right, that is gonna be the last one I do. All right, the shifting of, or shifting down by five units. So let me get yet another color. Let's go with, we'll go with yellow right now. 
So I'm going to take this origin point, right, this vertex. I'm going to shift left one unit, yeah? I'm going to multiply this y value by 4. Now the y value is 0, so I'm going to keep it as 0. And then I'm going to shift down 5 units to 0, negative 5. All right, so I shifted 1, multiplied the y value, value by 4, because I had a vertical stretch of 4, and vertical stretches affect y values. And then I shifted down 5 units. So this is the ordered pair. It might be a little hard to see, but that is negative 1, negative 5. And you can see that right here on my graph. All right. Now, I'm going to shift colors because I feel like that was a little too light. So let me undo almost everything I just did. Wait for it. There we go. All right, so now let's try. Let's try the next order pair. Let's try 1-1. One, one. All right, and this time I'll go, what's a color I haven't used? Let's use blue. That looks like a better color. I know I use blue over here, but we're still going to do blue. All right, so I'm going to take 1-1. One, one. All right, the first thing I want to do is shift it left one unit. All right, and then I want to take that y value and multiply it by 4. Now that y value was 1, so when I multiply it by 4, it's going to be at 4. All right, and then what I want to do, so imagine I'm here and i got to multiply it by 4. So now I'm going to multiply it up here. I land at 4, but I need to shift it down 5 units. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I'm going to wind up here at 0, negative 1. And you can see that ordered pair on the graph as well. 0, negative 1. So the first one we had gotten to was negative 1, negative 5. Now we're at 0, negative 1. All right, I'm going to shift colors again. Well, maybe not. We'll just try a different color and, oh, and just keep on going. We'll try lime green. Let's try, um, we'll go negative 2, 4. I'll stay on the outsides here. So with negative 2, 4, I'm going to shift left one unit. All right, so now I'm at negative 3, 4. But I need to multiply this y value by 4. So that would have given me 16, okay? But then I need, and I 16 will be way up here, okay? So I, I, I'm gonna run out of space to, to use it, but then I need to shift it down five units and that would get me to 11 because 16 minus five is 11. So when I come back down, I will ultimately have the ordered pair negative three, 11, and we can count that here almost. We've got negative three, and then if I head it up here, I would actually have hit it at positive 11. All right, let's try one more. Let's transform one more. What's a color I haven't used? We'll use sort of light purple. Let's try negative one, one. I know this is getting crowded. So I'm going to go left one unit to negative two, one. I'm going to multiply this y value by four to get to four. All right, so now let me move up to four here. And then I got to shift it back down five units. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm at the ordered pair here, negative two, negative 1, and here's negative 2, negative 1. And again, none of this might be worth it to you. You might just say, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to graph it on my graphing calculator or, or whatever technology I'm using. That's fine, but I still want you to see how all of these shifts are taking place, right? So we're going with PEMDAS. Inside the parentheses, multiplication, and then some subtraction. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.